I'm going to court tomorrow right here at this location and I'm pretty excited about it. I'll tell you why. So right here is the paper that they mailed to my home and I'm scheduled for tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. I went inside, I was looking inside the courtroom trying to get a good picture of where I'll be and getting more comfortable with the environment. Before I was nervous, uh, but now I turned that nervousness into excitement. I'm going to court because I was texting and driving. I'm not going to plead innocent because I know I'm guilty. However, since because I only have an N, I will try to strike up a plea with the officer and try attempt to get my points not deducted from my driver's license. That way my license won't risk getting suspended and you never know what happens, you know. Uh, I could very well make a good relationship with the officer. I think I'm gonna pay the full fine. It's $368. And I was asking the one of the people in there, like, is it normal for people to wear a suit and tie? And they said no. So tomorrow, your boy's not gonna come in a suit and tie. I'm gonna walk in there with casual clothing because I think it's gonna paint a better picture of me as like a student. It's tomorrow now and just an update, I finished the court hearing. They gave me a probation order and I didn't quite get what I asked for. I actually negotiated with the officer at the beginning before the court started and he was willing to do a registered owner, which means that I won't get any driver penalty points, but I'll still have to pay the full fine amount. But the judge actually rejected it and I have to write an essay. That's really weird. So I'm gonna explain more when I get home. Condition two, why we must always remain vigilant when driving, write an essay. When I was in the courtroom, there were five other people with me there and they were also going to dispute the, the traffic tickets. For me, I came second and the judge just called out the officer and the officer stood up, said your worship, uh, dressed him by the, proper, by the proper language, very polite. And the officer then called on me to come up on the podium. He said, your worship, I would like to change this ticket from a driver to a registered owner. And at that point, the judge just went on a three minute ramble about why it is not okay to shift blame from someone else to something else that you can't really point your finger on. And that the legal system is here to always keep people accountable. And I actually kind of agree with him. Uh, he was getting, giving a really long lecture about that. And then he said, I don't usually do this. 80% of people that, that do this, I reject the claim. And he says, this time I will change it. So he grabbed his pen and his paper. And before he wrote anything, he said, "Never mind, I can't change this. It's a distracted driving ticket. You're the driver, you're responsible for this. So he just did a completely like Uno reverse card on us. So now I had to give a reason as to why I was on my phone. And that was because I was on Google Maps and that time my car was running really low on fuel on the speedometer or the fuelometer, whatever it's called, it was almost on E. And I was like, I really gotta go to the nearest gas station right now. I was searching on my phone. And then the police officer just glances at me and I was like, nah, oh, shit, I got, I got caught. So I guess he saw it because also my, my head was down and being that it was nighttime, there was blue light reflecting on my, on my face. So he pulled me over. I had a 1992 Toyota, Toyota Camry at the time, bought it for $800 on Craigslist, super cheap. I had to refuel it really often. It had like 260, thousand kilometers on it at the time I bought it. Anyways, back to the judge, he, he asked me, are you a student? I said, yeah, I'm a student. I work part-time as well. And he said, okay, uh, you seem like a responsible, seem like a nice kid. Uh, your fine will be reduced from $368 to $50. 
and on top of that we'll give you a three month driving probation. I have some advice as well if you're going to court for your first time. Go, go there 15 minutes early because the officer will usually be there and he, he will offer you to pull you into a private room and you can have a chat with him about what happened that day. And if you have a plan in mind as to what you want the penalty to be reduced to, have a chat with the officer. He'll be more than understanding to change it for you. And, and that all goes if you're polite, if you really want to prove that you're guilty. If you say that you're innocent, then it's like you're challenging the officer at that point and he won't really make any concessions for you. And I actually saw this with one lady. She was going to challenge the officer because she didn't believe that she went past through a red light. And at the end of the conversation, I could hear her yelling, okay, let's see who wins this court case then, or let's see who wins. And he and the officer agreed, so they're gonna fight it out in court. And even if you lose your, your, def your battle against the cop, you're still just gonna pay the original fine amount. Nothing's gonna change. The severity is gonna stay the same. So in general, your severity and the fine you'll have to pay will never increase. It's always going to stay the same or be decreased by the judge. It's gonna take one hour of your time as well. And one hour you might get a couple hundred dollars shaved off your fine like, like I did. Even though that's not what I asked for originally, I came with a plan in mind to actually pay the $368 fine and have points and have, and have the points not be on my dri driver's record. So it's gonna stay on my driver's record for a couple years now.